Hi, Laura, how you doing? Okay, so I've got you queued up here, and I want to take a look at both the front and the back of your poster. So let me just close this down a little bit so it fits. There we go. I think that's much better. Um, and then I have the front. Okay, so what I want to do is, is well, I, I'd like to talk about both. Okay, I, I think this is this piece is good. The, the front cover, I, I think it's great on white. Um, I think that it's really important for student designers to understand how to, to communicate using the most simplistic manner as possible first. And then as you develop as a designer, you can start in adding different things as you as you develop different techniques. Right now, it's really super important to try not to dilute the message with anything other than what is immediately hand in that's typography. That's why this works so well on white. And I don't feel it's as meaningful on that color background. Over here, your subtype, I'm just not sold on two things. Number one, I don't believe that this is a good relationship, the name and the subhead here. Um, they're both basically sans, and um, they're just too similar to, to be together. Um, for example, take a look at the A. You see the A? Um, you see it has that rounded... Um, um, that, well, it's not a serif, but the, the end of that stroke is rounded. Well, over here, you have the same thing in the R and in the A. So they're almost trying to be alike, but they're not. So the, the mind is actually going back and forth, going, are they the same or not? And it causes confusion. I want you to work on that relationship between this and this. And I also want you to work on a relationship between this and this. Okay, let's move on to the back. Um, okay, the back, it looks like this color here is contingent on the color front, um, the, the one color front that you had. And I think that's a mistake because there's no reason to have this guy right here, this color right here, because it's nowhere else in the composition. Oops. Okay, so, um, so right now, I, I, there's a couple of different things we can do here. Oh, there we go. Okay, much better. A couple of different things we can do here, and let's take a look at what they are. Okay, first of all, um, I, 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 just, I, I know I keep going back to this, these um, uh, examples here, but just, I mean, take a look at the amount of, of, of information that's being presented here in a very, very, very expeditious way. And I don't want to look at, at over here, okay? So what you're doing is you're just drawing a lot of attention specifically to two different areas this area here and this timeline here. And I think that that bouncing back and forth, and then I'll, of course up here with the other type. So there's a couple of things that we're missing. We're missing all of this subtype here, and we're missing this whole block of text here. Why? Because it's just not fitting well. Sure, everything's aligning and that's beautiful, but let's think about this. Does your grid work into your, um, alignment. Um, and and I, I, I'm, not, I'm not thinking it does because of a couple of reasons. These don't align. I mean, is that 54 aligning with the um, um, left margin of that type? If it is, that's awesome. 1998. Looks like you are, so I take that back. Um, so, but what I want to say is that look at the size of your type. I'm going to command R here real quick to bring up some rulers. And actually, I'm sorry, I'm not in Acrobat. I'm in... Uh, Okay, so, so but anyway, this is, what is it, 16 by what the dimensions of this? This is at least 15, uh, 16 or 17 inches wide. So this type right here is going to be just absolutely enormous. Um, I'll bet that's upwards of 12 to 14 size type right there. That's just huge. Um, this is subtext, okay? Your viewer's going to look at it. I mean, it just needs to be really organized. I think right now you're just trying to ensure to yourself your viewer's going to look at everything. So try to take some finesse. Just take a look at the... Um, some of the examples. Take a look at really just how how finessed they are, as opposed to kind of how jumbled this is. So you're kind of trying to force people to look at stuff in a little, instead of letting the composition flow naturally. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, if not, well, you're doing great. So I, I'm not too concerned about you at all, Laura. You're a good student, and you're learning very well. So I'm sure your final is going to be just wonderful. Okay, thank you very much. Um, if you have any questions, get with me. Thanks, Laura.